So I was totally commentating that whole time and my mic was muted. Anyway, so still no score in the uh, in game. Okay, it's gonna be past three. It's Everybody's waiting for power-ups. You might grab their roll and kiss and let studs get the defense on. And eld them with a good gate. But that needs some offense, but the captain's doing a good, go a good job. Playing Thames and base and anti just gives for a grab. He's gonna be out past three. It looks like the blocks are there, and he boosts them to the yeah! so, It's a reset, and he gets a quick blasted. Another cool cat. Now the captain's past three. are spawning again. Eldon's gonna grab the choo choo. The captain with the tag pro. The cool cat with the tag pro of his own. Mud Kip is past the and he's got the snipe from behind. Cool cat's gonna get a grab past two. Bomb sends the captain up into the boost and uses it to grab, and he's gonna get out. And the danger's done for the defense handoff. It's, they look like they had an opportunity of their own. They have another one anti in the right spot. Stud's just waiting on the gate. Cool cat's gonna force the bomb down into homie, and homie, oh no, gets the return. Oh, it's gonna be a cap anyway. A little bit of miscommunication yeah! there, I almost messed that up. Power up spawning studs and mudkip each with rolling bomb. Mudkip's defused. Homie's gonna grab a tag pro. Cool Cat's gonna be past three. The block isn't quite there, and the block was there, but did enough to to slow Cool Cat down. And let, I believe, Obama. Power up spawn again. Eldon's trying to leave the rolling bomb for homie. Now I'll grab it. Anti <laughs> boosts into a spike. <laughs> the kiss comes and homie did play anti, so the panders are reset. <laughs> not quite able to get out.
Penta Reef's coming in. Elden's got a tag pro, but... I think it was Mudkip stepped up to the gate. Well, but... They're going to take their first win of the series. And both teams already in the playoffs, looking for buys for the week, first week of the playoffs. The captain with a really nice move, but Elden steps up to the gate. Obama wins that juke juice 2v1. Homie's got one of his own studs with the third, so all juke juice is anti grabs against the juke juice is not really able to do anything. Mudkip's gonna be out now. Homie misses the snipe who's ahead. Or Elden rather. Misses the snipe if she's ahead. This homie tracks him down. Cool cat almost getting past Obama with some nice moves. Just over the past handoffs with the tag pro, and then grab a juke juice, and Mudkip's gonna double up on his tag pro, I think. Elden steps up on OD to return the captain. Mudkip's flag pro is going to bomb down. And he's past four, I think. Yep, that's going to be... Woo! Woo! Yeah! To go, they're looking to make it two here, maybe. So Obama's going to boost down. Maybe use the bomb. Cool Cat gets there. And the captain's going to have to force something here. So he runs into Cool Cat. Three, two, one. This is going to be the first one of the night for the Pandas. So that's one win for each team in the 3 3 tie in the second half on Emerald. Getting some nice name calling in the chat between games.
three, two, one. Woo! Woo! Yeah! I think we're going back to group. Not quite sure what happened there because we don't have chat on. Three, two, one. Woo! Woo! Yeah! All right, so now we're starting game four. Nope. Once again. All right, for the third try. Three, two, one. Woo! Woo! I'm messing with my mic here. Uh, is Cool Cat's gonna come in? Can't quite wrap inside STDs. Studs with a nice move to get between homie and Eldon, get, splits them again. Cool cap trying to make something happen with this bomb just misses and it would have been a great cap. Captain played anti there. Can get over the pants handoffs a reset, but cool cat's gonna be out, maybe past two. Over the pants handoffs playing a lot of anti here. Cool cat with a good kiss. Eldon's gonna be flag pro, it's done though. Homie with a nice juke off the corner. Still contained though, he's gonna try to split his studs and the captain can't get past him. Mudkip with a good grab past three, but Homie gets the button. Good button. Homie 
with a good snipe. Over the pants handoffs with two juke juices, but Elden with the crucial tag pro, she's gonna just keep it on D. Anti can't quite get past the juke juice of studs, and now the captain's passed four. Anti re can't get the snipe, and that's one nothing. Over the pants handoffs and. Cool cat needs to stay alive here. Doesn't look like he's in any real danger, but he's got to stay alive for a little bit longer. So the captain just walks off the flag as he gets returned. Juke juice a piece and the tag pro for anti re. This cool cat with a cool boost to send. I didn't see who it was into anti's tag pro. Anti's gonna play anti with his. Tag pros, it runs out. Still gonna maybe stay on tie for a little bit. But homie's gonna get out of there. And he's not gonna be able to get past the captain. So cool cat with the flag, Obama, boosting low, they'll kiss. The captain can take the bomb down around back. Flaccid comes from Eldon, but the turn comes, and Cool Cat was playing anti, so that's a reset for pandas. Power up spawning again. Elden with the juke juice, anti with the juke juice of his own. Obama grabs a rolling bomb, which is quickly diffused. Anti re with some nice moves, assisted by the juke juice. He's going to boost in off the back wall, but can't quite make it happen. Homie, waiting for re-grab. He's gonna bring it right in. The 2v2 blocks aren't quite theirs. Obama will kiss, homie. Anti might try to hold for pups here. Well, Cool Cat's off of Re. He leaves the power up just as it spawns, unfortunately, but he'll grab it anyway. It's a rolling bomb. Studs with the rolling bomb of zone. I'm guessing the other one was a diffused rolling bomb. It's Cool Cat. Bombs in. Studs with a pull. Cool Cat's going to play Anti as the kiss comes. It is probably just going to drop back to re-grab as his tag pro expires. Elden coming in now against 3OD. Just going to try to draw him out, maybe do something with this boost. Anti. 
appears very frustrated with Studs' as anti. As Studs now leaves, Mudkip will take his place. Anti's got a grab. I don't know if that was frustration or boredom there. This cool cat grabs a tag pro, kisses Studs' is, or not Studs, uh, Mudkip's tag pro. Anti needs to stay alive, but he's got Cool Cat protecting him. Let's return for Cap now for the Pandas, and there it comes. It's 1-1 one, one with 1 minute 30 to go. Studs with the grab. Elden blocks up that choke and gets the good return. Homie waiting on boost. Spawns for him. Cool Cat with a nice snipe. Homie with the grab, but can't get past the spawning captain. Mudkip is going to be past two coming in mid. The blocks look like they might be there, but Cool Cat gets around with the return and the grab. And now he's going to be coming in with a rolling bomb, gets his own return. That's two to one pandas as they take a late lead. Homie coming in with a rolling bomb of his own. See if they could add to this lead. He's going to use. Bomb. Obama gets a grab and the kiss comes. Captain flag pro now though, and anti's out of position. No boost for the captain. Anti's got a grab. He does, but he gets returned on the gate and it's two to two. Captain with another grab. Let's see if there's gonna be any late drama here, any more than we've seen already. As Cool Cat flashes. Eldon's dead. Now Anti's the only one alive. As Mudkip's coming in, he grabs. He gets returned quickly, but Homie and Three, Cool Cat are there. Two, one. And that's going to do it. So another tie. So a win apiece and two ties. Very evenly matched the series so far as we move to games five and six. So now, Mephisto, which uh, is an interesting map. I'm really interested to see how it's going to play here uh, in competitive, because it was horrible in pubs. with quick flaccids. <laughs> Captain, not quite out. Ah, uh, but the return doesn't quite come as Cool Cat was past three. Now, Cool Cat's bomb can't quite get Mudkip out of the way. Yeah. 
first round of power up should be spawning. This anti has got a rolling bomb on flag, mudkip with the tag pro, and cool cat with the juke juice. Anti just sitting up, um, staying alive just long enough. Captain's gonna be out. And Cool Cat now has returned for Cat, but it doesn't come. The snipe does come from Elden. Cool Cat just circling around, the captain snipes him. Homie gonna boost straight in. The return comes, but all of Red's in base. Power up spawn again. Studs is gonna get a juke juice with the flag. Homie misses a juke juice and cool cat got one mid. Homie grabs the juke juice now. Gets returned by the captain. And Studs pushes Obama into anti for the return. Anti looks like he's gonna play anti. Um mud kip. Waiting on that boost. Anti just blocks up the portal. Nothing really done so far. Cool cat though, pass two. Boost spawned for him, but he doesn't have my timers, so. No way he could have known that. Studs with another rolling bomb, Obama with the tag pro top, Elden trying to get the top pop, uh, but gets returned by Studs, his homie's gonna grab it now and it's... Now Cool Cat has to say safe, he's gonna kiss. Excuse me, hit the wrong button. Anti might be out past three. He's going to wait on that boost, though, and take a little bit of time as Obama catches up to him. And the captain's got a grab. He's not quite sure that's what he's trying to do with the boost, but he gets returned. Cool cat past two, pushes Elden into a spike, but stays alive. He might hold and try to get pups. He gets sniped by studs. Now Anti is looking for that mid pop. He just manages to sneak it off of Obama. Zeldin's got a rolling bomb of her own. Defuse now. She might go for the top pop if the captain will let her get there. And he finds a spike. Zeldin's gonna grab another rolling bomb. All three pops rolling. She's gonna be defused, but if the pandas can get a couple quick returns, which they can't, she would have had an opportunity. Still really not all that much action. I think the uh, the team tiles mid combined with the portals uh, high and low 
I'm making this a pretty defensive map, despite its open looking shape. Power up spawn again. Zantai's waiting for mid. He's got the juke juice. So Obama's gonna go flag, bro. Eldon with the tag pro top. It's Obama. His tag pro runs out. Mudkip's still past two. Anti's got to grab. Eldon's tag pro is going to be done very soon, too, I believe. But if they can get this return, Cool Cat's part of Anti. He forces another flaccid. Anti. Boost up off of Eldon. Let's see if the blocks come. Looks like Anti is trapped in a corner. Can't quite juke out, and the captain was playing Anti. Homie's gonna have a quick grab as Eldon hits the snipe. Homie boosts through the mid bombs, but the captain's there on the boost. Power ups once again. So the captain's gonna grab a tag pro. Homie with the rolling bomb. The top power up is still delayed. I might be past four here. He is. And the team tiles aren't enough there, so it's the first half of the game. Seven and a half minutes in, one nothing pandas. Anti now grabs the top power up and just now delayed to 25. Cool cat. Not. Nah. Able to get around the boost by the captain. And I uh, some nice moves, but returned. Power up spawn again as Obama's waiting for mid. And oh, unfortunate as the captain's able to get a grab. He's gonna be flag pro. Oh, he has to back out, but. On oh, a nice job by Obama getting the button there. It's well timed and now the kiss comes or the tag throws and that's a cap for yeah! the cat's hand houses. Uh I think that was Eldon spikes herself and the second cap comes in. Anti is passed, but Mike Kip's there with the tag throw on base and didn't think that was the captain is there to kiss. Studs now out with the tag pro trailing. Let's it catch up. He's gonna boost in Mudkip and clear out the base a little bit now. All of a sudden, after really nothing for the first seven and a half minutes of the game, we've seen four caps come. It's three to one on pants handoffs. Last round of power up spawning. As Eldon gets a quickly defused rolling bomb. Obama with the rolling bomb of his own. Eldon kisses. Bomb is going to have a rolling grab. Anti with the rolling bomb top diffused. But now with 15 seconds, while well, Eldon's playing anti, let's see if she can make anything happen here. Not quite able to with the bomb. Anti. The boost. Needs three, to stay alive. Two, that's good one. for game five. So three to one over the pants handoffs in game five. And so it was really just a, a quick camp train that provided all of the offense for over the pants handoffs, but that's all you need.
Three, two, one. Alright, so starting the sixth yeah! and final game. We've had uh, two ties, two wins for over the Pants handoffs, and one for the Pandas. So the Pandas will be looking to even up the series at 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. Not really enough for either team for what they wanted for a bye. But... They can each hope on favorable results at elsewhere as anti boosts straight into the captain. Studs is playing anti. A cool little uh, boost to bomb route through the spikes there by anti re, but nothing else is going Not sure how intentional that was. I think he got bombed into it. The first round of power up spawn. Anti's being doubled. Bot tag pro goes to each team and a juke juice for studs. Homie spikes himself with the tag pro. And Mudkip's gonna be out past two, maybe. Coming in with the tag pro lead. Tag pro's kiss. And now Cool Cat's past everybody. As studs can't quite grab with that bomb. There's one nothing to the pandas. The captain now pass two. Cool cat with a flaccid. Anti with a pull and with a nice juke on the wall and he's gonna be out. There's now the captain bombs right into Elden. She's gonna be out past three. Come back now. And look for pups as Obama's gonna grab that top rolling bomb. Cool Cat will leave mid for Elden. And Studs grabs a tag pro bot. Cool Cat's saving Elden with the bomb, but not for long. The portal boost helps Homie get the return there, I think. And another return comes. Anta has just got Obama to beat, but. The cavalry comes in from behind. The captain grabs. As I think it was Obama got the return. And I juke it around a little bit. Can't get past the captain. And now Mudkip is almost past everybody but Homie. Goes in from behind. And I forces a flaccid out of Obama. And Homie setting up early for mid power up. Obama early for bot. Anti is gonna elect to get ahead. Probably smart. This mudkip leaves a rolling bomb for his flag carrier. Gets defused. Anti is looking for some help from Cool Cat. Players. And he manages to kill mudkip as well. But Obama's rolling now. It's defused. Cool Cat playing anti, and it's return for cat for the pandas. Doesn't look like it's going to come. Well, maybe now, but Mudkip has gotten ahead to re. As he hits a very nice bomb to return anti. Mudkip grabs now. It's Cool Cat. He's looking to come bottom, but thinks better of it and circles back around. So they return a little help from the team tiles by Obama. And uh, Homie and Anti just playing with their food a little bit. Obama grabs a tag pro, bot, and cool cat with the juke juice top, mudkip with the mid juke juice, and now cool cat should be past everybody as it's two and a half minutes now, five and a half minutes to go. And that's some nice news, but the... What's a really weird function of this map is that the gate button also activates that bomb, and Obama just hit the button and it bombed Anti right away from the boost that he needed to be at. Still around though. Gets returned by Obama. Mudkip 
returned by homie. Stud scrubs, uh, tag pro, cool cat, kills Elden. Um, the captain's got a rolling bomb that he uses to return cool cat, but antis <laughs> somehow not returned by studs. So now the backward snipe from Mudkip comes. The captain's still looking for a way in. Anti, uh, true to his name, played anti re there to get the reset for the pandas. Although Obama with the grab passed him, and Cool Cat spikes himself. But now Homie's past three, and the captain has to stay alive. Boost doesn't quite spawn for anti re. Obama with another tag pro bottom. Mudkip can't get the tag pro top, and Homie shuts down on the portal. As now Eldon's past three. If the sacrifices come in, but Obama's gonna get a grab. Looking for the kiss here, and he gets it. Anti's gonna be flag pro as well. Possibly past two, but he gets spawned on, unfortunately. Cool cat now. Past three, but so is studs as he's now tracking back. And. The bomb kind of takes all of his momentum. The captain will pull. If uh, one more return comes, and as it does, and anti block studs boost, so 3 nothing pandas with 3 minutes to go, and another cap quickly from homie so fast we didn't get another, uh, another sound effect for it. So the panda is now with a somewhat commanding lead the way the offense has been going on this map. There's a tag pro top, Elden's gonna grab it, juke juice for anti, and studs as a rolling bomb. Anti able to kill one of his chasers, he's gonna be past just that one though. Homie with a nice boost to clear out some space for Anti, but Obama's got a grab. Eldon, not quite able to get the return. Homie with a nice boost through the spikes, but the return doesn't come. Cool Cat's got a flag pro. There's Mudkip with a tag pro of his own. Cool Cat grabbing a second tag pro. Is now if Homie can get this block in, which he does, and it's 5 nothing with Pandas. Some nice moves by Cool Cat here is neither Studs or Obama gets the gate, but they've got all four ahead now. So he'll look to find a way through. He gets past Obama and Studs. One flaccid comes and Cool Cat in with the sixth cap of the game for Pandas. Right when I thought this was a defensive map, there's six caps for Pandas in nine minutes. It's the last round of power up spawn. The captain's gonna grab the Juke Juice spot, Mudkip with the Tag Pro, and Eldon is going to have a rolling bomb. Cool Cat returned, but Eldon not defused, and she's going to get a grab. Mudkip waiting for some offense, she's going to grab, and gets returned by, uh, I think, anti -re. Just With 20 seconds left in the final week of the regular season, couple more quick grabs, but this is going to be two wins apiece and two ties. Three, 
two, so on the one. Six points each. They both were looking for nine, I believe. So they'll each have to rely on other teams dropping points in order to get their uh, bye for the first week of the playoffs. But great seasons for both of these teams. Really well played. And I think this is definitely a, a matchup we could see later on in the playoffs. All right, that's going to do it for us. Thanks very much for joining us.